Hello everybody and welcome back to Goldcrest Valley in Farming Simulator 22. Sometimes you get up in the morning and there's just one thing you want to get done and today it's harvesting this massive cotton field so I think we should get on with it. Let's find ourselves a cotton harvester. Just here. So <laughs> we have a choice of renting the, the cheap one or the expensive one. I say we go for the cheap one. Cheap as in half a million dollars but anyway let's uh, working speed I'll put it up to like eight miles an hour, I think. Let's rent it. 24,000. Yes, fine. Okay. So, where is it? Let's find it. Here it is. So, unfortunately, I don't think we can put this thing on a low loader. So, we're going to have to drive it at... Oh, it's not, too, it's not too shabby, actually. 15 miles an hour to our field, which is just off the highway. So... I will see you when we get there. So we're here at last. Let's unfold it before we even get on the field because there's no time to lose. Now we have to harvest the cotton today and the sugar beet tomorrow and I really really hope that it does not rain because if, we, if it rains tomorrow when we're supposed to harvest the sugar beet we'll lose it all because that's the last chance. So what do we do? Just turn it on and then we go. What I'm going to do is a couple of headlands um, and then once up and down and then we'll put it on a worker. going to stop some time ago but I wanted to see a bale being made uh, but I didn't realize that you had to stop when the bale was made otherwise you destroy the crop so uh, probably best if a worker does this you know <laughs> because uh, I'm going to destroy half the crop at this rate um, well I, I know it now anyway so um, right I'm going to put this on a worker let me just get it started um, it's tricky because I haven't got a completely straight line but uh, I'll put it like this turn it on start going and then right now it's on a worker so the worker I'm gonna pay the worker 1500 pounds uh, dollars rather for doing this field because I think any more than that is uh, just kind of daylight robbery basically and I wouldn't want to pay anybody more than that so when it comes to the workers fee at the end um, if it's more than 1500 I'm going to take some off them I'm afraid and uh, that's just the way it is so um, I just want to make sure that they do the line correctly and then and then turn around correctly yeah this is fine this is a straight up and down field so it's not a problem I I still haven't got the grips with course play so I can't do it on course play it's just a worker so uh, just make sure he doesn't miss that bit. <laughs> okay, so we have another issue with one of our fields, which is field. Um, let's have a look. Thirty-one it is, which is needs um, de-weeding. This field here. Let's see if we can go to it. Uh, yes, just here. So there's weeds all over it. So I want to get this done. So I think that's the next thing to do. I will use the. Yeah, the T7, and if I can find it, we should have a John... Yeah, here it is. The John Deere R732i sprayer. I'll tell you what, I'll just use a JCB because it's it's already got the, the thing attached. So, and we have herbicide in it. So, let's get down to the field and um, spray it. Now, I've got one issue in that we have to... to um, 
we have to harvest sugar beet tomorrow. That's what I was going to do. I was going to look at the weather weather uh, report for tomorrow. Let's just have a look at that quickly. Uh, so tomorrow, November the 2nd. Oh, thank goodness, sunny. December the 1st, snow. So that's fine. So the other thing we need to do is buy the sugar refinery. Um, now, I'm not sure how much that is. Actually, just let's stop the track there and let's just find the sugar refinery on the map. Okay, it's just here. So, if I go to it, um, right, let's just see how much it is. 80,000. Well, it's not too bad. We've got 46,000, as you can see. Um, and we need some more. So, I might do some forestry, or there's absolutely tons of planks. It's not the right time to sell the planks, um, but I might sell those. Anyway, I'll see you when I get to field 31. Okay, so I'm going to take all the weeds off this field, even though I'll probably have to do it again when, when we, um, we're going to do sunflowers on this field. I'll have to probably de-weed it uh, after the first growth, but um, I just want to check actually the precision farming score in this field first of all. Uh, 47. Okay, I wonder if it's going to change once I've de-weeded it. Let's find out. <laughs> a new rule that I've instigated on another map that I plan which is the Iowa Plains map um, which is to sell all the productions when they come to their their peak price and at the moment um, it's eggs are at their peak price so I'd like to see if there's any eggs to sell and we've got tons and tons of planks so I'd like to see if we can sell those but the first thing I want to do is see if this has made a blind bit of difference to uh, to the field so let's have a look at at precision farming for this field now 62 it's made a, a big difference actually this this was 47 um and now it's 62 what's the bottom one there tillage um i wonder why that's and ph values i mean we put nitrogen on nitrogen on on here and lots of ph and tillage should be well we haven't done the tillage actually because we need to do direct drilling of sunflowers but that's in march so uh, that score probably won't go up till then, but that has made a difference to the environmental score. Well, the, the score for the field anyway. So, um, I think I'm going to get back to the farm and just see if there's any eggs to sell. I'd like to make a daft change to Farming Simulator. All the people you see walking around here on the map, I'd like to have thought bubbles coming out of their heads <laughs> to say what they're thinking today. Whether they're confused, whether they're anxious or they're happy or whatever. Um, I think that'd be a good change. Maybe if there's a mod for it. Okay, we have quite a lot of eggs here. Um, let's go and see our, our other chickens. Yeah, quite a lot here. So, according to my list, um, I might, I may or may not put it on the screen. We can sell the eggs in November. That's a good time. Let's just see how much we can get for eggs in in November. Uh, the peak price two five three zero, and it's now two six zero three at the. Well, we own the bakery, so let's let's take our eggs. I'm going to get the T seven and the and this trailer, and I'm going to collect all the eggs, and I'll see you at sell everything I should have explained that sell everything is at our, our sawmill it's it's our own sort of sell point and uh, unfortunately 
I've left the lorry <laughs> on the on the sell everything point. So uh, let me just go move it out of the way. Um, I need to see actually if the if it's a good time to sell the planks because we've got so many of those um, that it'd be handy to have that money. Okay, now I can sell stuff. So yeah, we need lots of money for hiring expensive equipment and also the sugar refinery, the sugar mill. Okay, we have a floater. Uh, okay, let's just see if we can get this down. There we go. Okay, uh, it was done in two parts. I'm not sure how much we've got, but uh, I just want to check the price of planks at the moment. Sell everything 2256, and the top price is 2529. Do you know what? I think I'll pick them up and uh, sell them because it's not too, too far off the top price. Only a couple of hundred quid, and there's loads of them. So let's just do some uh, auto loading magic. And these ones as well. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, so we suddenly have a lot of money and while we're here, I'm gonna go and fill this um, trailer up with as much wood as I can uh, and sell that as well because um, then we can get to a, a pretty good price uh, or a pretty good amount of money in our bank account uh, because we need to buy what was it we need to buy the the sugar mill and we need to hire the expensive equipment if we can make 30,000 out of wood just here that'll be uh, a big bonus for us so I will just stop here and as usual I'll just put this on a fast forward So I think this is the last bit if I can just get it sneak it on here somewhere um, now I thought that five minutes ago we had about hundred and thirty thousand dollars I'd like to see where that money has gone actually let me just turn super strength off before I throw the the truck everywhere I just want to look at our money situation and see where things are going today vehicle leasing costs sold products miscellaneous um, I just want to go over to the cotton harvester to see how it's doing first of all and also oh yeah we've just gone on to another hour I wonder how much that cost us I wonder I'm gonna have a look actually so the cotton harvester are cotton harvesters are just here so if we want to rent this one again per work hour ten thousand dollars so we've had to pay another ten thousand dollars for this thing and how many bales have we got three and how full is it 42 percent okay so we should get four maybe four and a half bales out of it okay fine let's go back to the truck and go and sell this wood and see if we can get back up to where we were five minutes ago <laughs> this is it feels like i've done this for nothing because uh i thought we were going to get i don't know uh like 140,000 at the end of it but anyway we'll get something I cut it out but I just sold another couple of uh, planks so that's why our money has gone up so um, how much will we get for this for this lot do you think 
Always a guessing game. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just see. 19, about 21,000. Okay, fine. I'll get into good habits and move this off of the selling area. Um, now, I realise that we have a grass field that needs mowing. It's November. We should do it now. So what I'm going to do is jump in the T7 and go down to the grass field and mow it. So I'll see you when I get down there. There's two reasons I want to mow the grass here. Um, one of which is to make some money out of grass silage and the other is that this field, I'll just show you, I'll just stop here actually and show you. This field has a shockingly low score of 40 and I think it needs harvesting to raise the score up. So um, that's why I want to do it so much. Um, so uh, let me just get attached to the mowers. Do you know what? We've never ever had a jet wash uh, on this series and I think maybe we should get one, don't you? <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about that after I've done this, um, this mowing. Uh, so, score at 40 at the moment. Let's see what it's like when we finish. So the score on this field was 40 and I wonder what it is now. Let's just uh, finish off the, finish this bit off. So um, let's turn everything off and have a look. 80, okay, 80 and weed control and nitrogen is where we fall down. I wonder why weed control. I mean, you don't normally weed a grass field, so I don't know what that's about. So um, let's put things back, and I need to go and get a baler. I do remember the last time we did grass bales off this field, we got 33 bales. So let's see if we get more than that. Um, actually, before I put everything back, I want to go and see how the cotton's getting on. Let's go and have a look. Okay. He's on his last little bit. How many have done now? One, two, three, four four bales and I wonder if we'll get if we can um, eject a, you know part of the bale is it four or five no it's four and I wonder if we can um, just eject part of the bale that he's still got in his tank um, I'm just gonna wait for him to finish Great stuff, great stuff. So let's take the worker off the job now, stop manually, um, and I want to see if I can eject the unloaded bale. Yeah, uh, let's, let's do that. How big is it? It's like a third of a bale, so brilliant. What I should have done actually before I unloaded the bale is drive over the field to make sure there's no missed bits. Um, I'm just going to have a look very quickly off screen. Okay, no more cotton. Um, it's all done. There is um, a contract on a field, field 7, which is just here for cotton, but um, I think I've done enough cotton for now. Um, I'll just keep this cotton harvester here and switched off. It is just switched off, isn't it? Yeah. It's switched off for now, and then we'll, we'll send it back later on. But uh, first of all, uh, I just want to go and do the baling. So, where's my T7? Here it is. <laughs> so, I'll put everything away, and I'll see you back here when, we're, when we've got the baler.
Okay, I'll, I'm interested to see how much wages we've paid the cotton harvester driver bloke. <laughs> so, uh, before I get this malarkey started, let's just have a look at that. Um, I just got a note to say £465 has been paid. Um, wage payments, 1497 Look at that, that's almost 1500 So we don't have to take any money off him. Uh, so, it was exactly... I, I kind of guessed it right, I suppose. Um, anyway, let's see if we get more than 33 bales off this field. Well, I'm glad I put the speed on normal time a while ago because this has taken absolutely ages to do, actually. Probably because uh, there's thick, lustrous piles of grass here and uh, and the, the, uh, the baler can't process them quickly enough. Um, so, 79%. I don't think there's any missed bits here, so I can't do any more. So, um, I'm going to send some... Actually, let's see how many bales we've got. We had 33 when the when the field was not in a good state. Now it's in a good state. We've got 49. Look at that. That equates to over $50,000 when we sell them all, which is what we're going to do. So um, that's pretty good because we're going to need, like, you know, a donut shop and things like that pretty soon. I'm going to send back all the stuff we don't need now. So we don't need... Uh, we don't need this anymore. And we don't need the baler. And the sprayer I'd like to keep for a little while longer. So the last thing to do today, I think, is to pick up the cotton bales and take them back and put them in our shed. Now, I don't, I've don't. i been looking at the, the, the bale picker-upper things, whatever they're called, the bale collectors. And I might as well just use this because it's free. You know, we own it. Well, we lease it anyway. Um, so I'm just going to use this and put the bales on here, you know, super strength style. So I'll see you when I get over to field 20 and we'll, we'll, um, we'll have some interesting times there, I think. So I'll see you when I get there. So I tried auto load and it worked. So I don't need to manhandle them or anything. Uh, let's see if we can get two on here and then we have to come back for the rest, I think. Oh, do you know what? I think I will have to use um, super strength because I'm sure I can get another bale on there. There. Okay. I'll see you back at the farm. So here are the last three bales off the field. Um, so I've put two in the shed already and I'm going to put these three in, in the shed as well. So uh, it's due to rain so I want to keep them nice and dry so they don't deteriorate. Uh, so time to switch on super strength. So just give me a minute and I'll put these in the, in the shed. Okay, so this is the last one. So that's a good day's work, I think. All that baling. Well, not just cotton, <laughs> but uh, grass as well. So I need to decide what to do with these bales. I'm just going to close up here, actually, to keep everything nice and dry. Yeah, I need to decide what to do with these bales. I don't want to just sell them. We need to upscale them somehow. So I think I'll take them to our... Well, our spinnery, and I'd like to get a tailor shop as well, so we can start making clothes out of the fabric that we've got. But uh, I need to decide where to put it. But anyway, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. We've got such a lot done. And tomorrow we have to do the sugar beet and hope it doesn't rain. So thanks a lot and see you soon. Bye for now.